This week is Severe Weather Awareness Week. Just last week, the first tornado warning of the season was issued for our area. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin joins us now to talk about tornadoes. Jenny, this week is all about preparation and really just reminders to refresh you to be prepared. When it comes to your home and seeking shelter, where so many of us are right now, the basement may be your best bet. But if you don't have a basement, don't worry about it. You just get to the central part of your home where we show you on this green shaded area inside this house. Again, that's away from windows or glass. Don't forget to take a helmet with you for the kiddos. Also blankets, pillows and your cell phone charger. Now, when it comes to a tornado striking and causing damage and destruction, the National Weather Service is deployed to go out and check out the scene. Many times we can see anything from an EF zero to an EF five, and that's talking about winds anywhere between 65 miles an hour up to 200 miles an hour. Here in Nebraska, we generally see our winds anywhere between 65 to 135. So it's an EF zero to an EF two. Now, when it comes to the formation of tornadoes, you have to have several key ingredients. And one of the major things is updraft, this really warm air, along with that even cool air. But as the circulation is going on with inside that storm throughout the atmosphere, Sphere. The big thing that happens eventually over time is that we see the rotation beginning to tilt and it becomes vertical and that's when a tornado can form. Now when it comes to tornadoes here in the Heartland region, the majority of the time they develop and occur about 3 o'clock in the afternoon to 7 p.m. in the evening. Again, that's the peak heating of the day. And so we again are, have to be very mindful that this can happen any time though. It could happen in the morning, the afternoon and the evening, but generally it's more of the afternoon and evening in our region. So when it comes to tornado outbreaks, the average number here in Nebraska is up to 18 in June. So again, fairly large numbers as we get into the tail end of spring and the early part of summer, and then it does begin to wind down. When it comes to Iowa, the numbers are very similar. Again, they start going up from April, May, June and July can be again still a very active month, but June seems to be our peak time that we can see severe storms and tornadoes forming. One of the key things that I always say when I go to schools and talk to students and anyone else when it comes to being safe during severe storm season, I know we are reminded about what to do, but it's always a good idea to actually do a drill with your family so you know exactly where to go and everybody feels comfortable when severe weather strikes.